When you're planning a SCADA, a remote monitoring system, one of the first decisions you're going to have to make is what device type you're going to use. Since you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you're considering PLCs. But before you commit to a device type, you should know about the benefits and the drawbacks of that device. PLC, or Programmable Logic Controller, is a SCADA device that you can use to monitor and control electronic processes. The benefit of these devices is they're typically cheaper than the alternative, and they're highly customizable. You're allowed to program almost any behavior until PLC. However, there are a number of drawbacks to PLCs. The top three, I'll be going over the rest of the video. The first problem with PLCs is that they're programmable. This gives you a wide range of control over the behavior of PLCs, but it also requires a long time to program them. PLCs don't work out of the box. They have to be programmed individually in order to work. Now, if you don't have a lot of time to program them or a lot of time to learn how to program them, this can be an issue. There are alternative devices that you might want to look into like RTUs if you do not have the time to program PLCs. The second problem with PLCs is they have limited capabilities compared to alternative monitoring devices. PLCs are simple devices and they're specialized. They have a couple inputs and outputs, but not much else. If you anticipate that a site you're monitoring might be growing or its monitoring needs might change, you might want to look into an alternative device, or else you'll be buying a lot more PLCs. The third problem with PLCs is that there's limited support for manufacturers after the sale. Because PLCs are programmable and there's no programming standard, it's easy to introduce bugs into your system. When these bugs occur, it can be difficult to find them, and if tech support is offered by the manufacturer, it can be a costly process because they're going to have to review all the code that you wrote to find the bug. If this is something that concerns you, you might want to look into an alternative device like an RTU, where there's a standard features list and tech support can more easily debug issues. So are PLCs the right device type for you? It depends on your situation. If you'd like more information on monitoring devices or you'd like to get in contact with me, press the link below. If you liked our video, don't forget to press the like button. And if you'd like more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Until then, best of luck on your monitoring system.